Hello, it's been a while since I've done a review. Today I'll be reviewing the Captain 7.1 RGB headset by Fantech. Um, I'm not sure if it's called the Captain 7.1 or the HG15, but it is RGB headset, connects by USB, has a built-in microphone, and that's really all I know about it for now. It costs $16 and some change, took five days to arrive from eBay. I only got it because I used to use these, the Jin Dunn K6 headphones, and I had these for two and a half years. Two and a half years and they work great. The only thing is that uh, about a year ago, the faux leather started coming off, but uh, it's still super comfortable, so I didn't care to replace it. But just about uh, a month ago, my son dropped them. I don't know how many times it took for him to break them, but he dropped them enough times to where this speaker on this um, side fell off completely. So here, you can hear it right here basically fully dead on this side. Um, it still works, I could probably have fixed it, but there is no screws, there's no way for me to pry it open without potentially breaking it. And I figured it was a good excuse to upgrade. Uh, for two and a half years, I had the same headset. Um, they usually don't last that long. If, if I could find these and cheap, I would've just gone with these again. So it is currently a few days before Christmas. This actually arrived four days ago. I haven't touched it yet other than opening it from the package. And now to unbox. So it's got uh, two seals right here. There's one here, I think I removed it already apparently, and one there, um, yeah, I already removed because I showed my kids. Okay, so here's the headset and instructions. So here's the specifications for anyone who cares. While I open this up. Okay, so here it is, here's the cable. The cable is two and a half meters long. It has USB. I suppose it has audio and RGB all in that one USB because there's no other connections. Whereas all the other ones I've seen look something like this, where the audio and the lights, this is just audio and then this is just lights. So this you could use on say a PS4, whereas this is uh, strictly PC. Also the cable has like a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like glitter in it which uh, I don't mind. Um, I do prefer these sort of like cloth braided cables. Uh, to me, they just feel more durable. This just has like a plastic around it and it's actually pretty substantial feeling. Uh, it feels just as sturdy, essentially, as the braided cloth ones. So I won't hold that against it because it does feel as durable. Here's the microphone. Uh, as you see, the microphone's white, but here it's red, so I assume it's gonna light up. It's also programmable. It's got a, I assume this is a volume button, I mean a volume scroll, which uh, the other one that I had also has. Uh, and then it has a brightness uh, logo. So I don't know if this is for brightness or for volume. I hope this is volume. I don't know why the heck it has a brightness logo. It says, game headphones on the side and this feels like uh, real leather it could it could probably not be but this feels really good I do like this a lot so I don't imagine Fantech being a, a brand that comes to mind when you think high quality or expensive but man they went all out on this I do like this this does make it look like it wasn't $16 here's my old one you see I didn't even notice until now because I never look up here but um, this is like clearly pleather. And this, this might be too, but they went ahead and gave it the texture. Makes it look a lot nicer. So now to try these out. See you in about a week. So I'm back after nine weeks of supposed testing. In reality, I've just gotten preoccupied with many things and that's why this review has taken so long, but that gave me more time to know the product better. So for starters, the sound quality is actually great. It is a lot better than my previous headphones, which I should have thrown away by now. At first, I thought the sound quality was the same, but it's actually a lot better. If my previous headset was a 7 out of 10 in quality, these are easily an 8 out of 10. With that said, sound quality is pretty subjective, so take that rating scale with a grain of salt. There are a few negatives though. As far as the build, one of the negatives for me is these two lines here are metal. And they connect right here, and these here touch your ears. So if you ever go to scratch your head or accidentally hit these, or someone else does for any reason, 
you will hear a loud metallic ding in your ears, and it's pretty annoying. The other negative, which might be a deal breaker for a lot of people, is that it is advertised as a programmable LED headset, but that's there specifically for you to think that the LED is programmable. It's advertised purposefully to mislead you. The LEDs aren't programmable. The program comes with equalization settings and sound profiles, which just change the way the sound is heard to simulate a large hall or a bathroom, and it's really just various echo profiles, which are both useless and annoying. So if that's a deal breaker for you, don't get the. The LEDs are not programmable, they just cycle. But personally, I don't care because as I'm wearing them, I never see if they're on or off. They do look nice when they're on, but they only cycle like so. They just move in a circle and has some bleed through here. One of the things I do like, and it took me a while to realize how it works, is that I didn't know that this was a button. It took me at least a week to realize how this works. So this looks like it's just a painted on label, but it's actually a touch sensitive button that turns on and off the LEDs. The other thing I noticed is that the microphone isn't here. It's actually right here. I thought it was this light, but it's actually those two little holes next to the screw. And in my opinion, the microphone sounds pretty good, especially for being attached to a $16 headset. The only thing is that based on where it's positioned, some of my friends have mentioned that they can hear my breathing if I position the mic right in front of my mouth. So you have to place it slightly above your mouth, but not quite in front of your nose, right over your philtrum, as it's called. So with all that said, I actually really like them. The price fluctuates around $16 to $18, but I like them so much that I bought another pair for my wife because she had a crappy pair from Five Below that aren't even worth reviewing. They're just utter garbage. But the best thing about these is for the pricey look, the build quality, and the sound quality, they're an amazing deal. For the price range, I cannot recommend them enough. It has a few drawbacks, but if you're on a budget and you're not one of those logo brand name sheeple, you should definitely pick one up. And that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching.